Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the conversion, or I'm going to summarize the version conversion of carboxylic acid derivatives uh, to ketones. So once again, uh, just, just pick a carboxylic acid derivative. I like. Let's make it pixel thing, I guess. Here we go. Uh, acid chlorides react with the Gilman reagents or lithium dialkyl cuprate reagents to form ketones through nucleophilic substitution. Gilman reagents are less reactive. Ketones are less reactive, so this reaction tends to stop here. Um, this reaction also works on anhydrides, but anhydrides in this reaction have all of the limitations of anhydrides in nucleophilic substitution reactions. Part of the anhydride has to be the leaving group. And so while it works with symmetric anhydrides, with non-symmetric anhydrides, there's more than one possible product because it could react, the Gilman reagent could react at one carbonyl group or the other. And with very little opportunity to control. And so these reactions are generally considered, on mixed anhydrides, are generally considered not productive. Carbo no other carboxylic acid derivative re reacts with the Gilman reagents. And so. I could have decided to stop here, but as this as Gilman reagents turn things into ketones, I did want to just remind you that amides and nitriles can be converted into ketones, even though I shared that in the previous video. But if you have an amide, and that amide has uh, two hydrocarbon groups on it. So it's a tertiary amide. After acidic aqueous workup, you can get a ketone out of this reaction. And likewise, you can get a ketone out of the reaction with a nitrile cell. Using a Grignard, using a Grignard reagent. Okay. So, very quick summary, lithium dialkyl cuprates, the, the Gilman reagents react with acid chlorides and anhydrides to make ketones, though one of these reactions is not productive. The cuprate reagents react with no other carbonyl electrophiles that we've covered. So, you know, they're, they're pretty selective for just acid chlorides and anhydrides. <clears throat> However, you can also make ketones from, from tertiary amides and nitriles using Grignard reagents. This ends my summary of making ketones from carboxylic acid derivatives and the entire video series on uh, hydrogen and carbon nucleophiles. Thank you for watching.